Welcome to the fourth episode in which we are looking at the 2020 GCE Mathematics Paper 1. And question 10 leads, the probability of a girl not wearing a nectar is 0 0.55. What is the probability that the same girl will wear a necktie? So there are two possibilities. It's either a girl who is wearing a necktie or not. And that's the same girl. And so the girl has only two possibilities. So hence, let us say probability that the girl wears a necktie is PW. Then probability that the girl does not wear a necktie is NW. These two should give us the one. And that one is shows the possibilities are variable with this outcome. Now we are told that the probability that a girl does not wear a necktie or is not wearing a necktie is 0.55 which is in this case this one. So we solve for PW probability that a girl wears a necktie is we solve for that because we have substituted this one is not wearing not wearing a tie. Then PW is equal to basically 1 minus 0 0.55. Then probability is equal to 0.45. That's the probability that the girl will wear a necktie. The same girl. So remember, probability of everything adds up to 1. That's the key principle that we've used here. Okay, let us go to part B of 10. Given that... Uh, 8, so we have 8 x to the power 1 is equal to 16. So what we are saying is, when x is raised to the power, x unknown minus 1 should give us 16. So now, when you look at indices, for us to solve a uh, uh, simple equation of indices, we need to ensure that the base, what is the base? These are the base. So if you are given a to the power x, a is the base. Then x is the power. So we need to ensure that the bases are expressed in the same uh, form or the same number. So in this case, we are saying, what's the lowest base of 10? Which number can we multiply itself to give us 8? So we have a 2. So 2 multiplied by 2 is 4 times 2, 8. So we have 2 to the power 3 can be written as also as 8. Then we are multiplying by realizing it to the power x minus 1. Then we go to 16. So which number can you multiply itself? number of times we get a 16. So we have the lowest is a 2. So we know 4, 4 times 4 is see, uh, 16. But we want to express it as a base of 2. So 2 times 2 is 4 times 2. 8 times 2 uh 16. So if you multiply 2 by itself 4 times, we are going to get basically a 16. Okay? So this is what it tells us. We have 2 to the power 4 is the same as 16. Now, because the bases are the same, when the bases are the same, what it means is the power should also be the same as long as there is this equal sign. Therefore, we have 3 multiplied by x minus 1 is equal to 4. Then 3x, we expand, minus 3 is equal to 4. Then 3x is equal to uh, 4 plus 3. When this negative crosses the equal sign, it becomes a positive. So we have basically 3x is equal to uh, 7 then we divide by 3 we divide by 3 so x is equal to basically uh, 7 over 3 or basically uh, 2 1 over 3 as the answer so basically this is how you answer question 10 to get the three marks let us move to question 11 so question 11 leads Given that S is a set such that uh, X is greater, greater than 1 but less or equal to 15. And this X is a prime number. List elements of set S. So we know what a prime number. So a prime number is basically is that number which has got only the two factors. Itself and a 1. And that excludes 1. So, when you start, we have a 2, 2 in 2, 2 is 2, and 1 can go there. Next is a 3, then 
we have next is a five then we have a seven nine is not so we have eleven then we have thirteen so thirteen is our answer so basically what is tricky is to ensure that one is not included number of people would include a one so avoid that trap let us go to b 11 b leads the diagram below shows a right squared pyramid a b c d e of base six centimeter and e f five centimeter calculate the total surface area of the triangular surfaces of the pyramid so in this case we are taking away the base area so what we know is in this case since it's a square then you have six six there then what this implies is we have this light angle triangle so if six so this is three and this is three so we have of these there are one two three four there are eight so you just need to find one then multiply by eight so what we get here is basically the area of one uh half of this which is is basically half multiplied by half of six is three then multiply by the height which is in this case the height is efc is five so we are getting 15 times uh half is 7.5 remember five times three is 15. so this is a centimeter square then because they are the all of this is a full so what we do is we multiply by two so 7.5 multiplied by two which gives us 15 then 15 multiplied by their uh, four faces one two three four so we get four multiplied by 15 which is basically 60 centimeter a square as our answer so alternatively what you could have done is just to multiply uh six uh multiplied by five then you divide by half which would give you 15 then 15 multiplied by four is to get 60 centimeter square so basically this is how you answer question 11. thank you for joining me on this episode so join me as i look at question 12 and 13 in episode 5.